Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about one of the most important tools in your toolbox when you're not playing so well. This tool is what I call the living room swing. Yes, like the living room in your house because sometimes you're at your house, whether it's the living room in the garage on your yard and you start doing some practice swings. Sometimes you're watching one of the big tournaments on TV and you see all the professional players take a practice swing after they miss the ball or even Nadal before he starts the match when he is at a tunnel underneath the court waiting for the match to start. He is practicing his swing and he's very intense while he does it because that's the intensity he shows in the court. That's who he is and that's the practice swing that you see on the court is the one that he's doing in that tunnel. The living room swing is the one trapped here in the subconscious mind. It flows. It's the one you do without thinking. It is very important that if you're going to do your shadow swing at home or anywhere you decide to do it, it is the same swing, exactly the same swing, you're going to be conscious to use on the court. Most people for one reason or another, have a completely different practice swing or living room swing than the one they use when they're playing a match. And if you think about it, it only makes sense to do the swing that is naturally engraved in your brain that you don't have to think about. That's the one you wanna use when you're playing a match. So if things are not going so well during a match, do a couple of living room swings, a couple of practice swings. Just remind yourself of what your swing really looks like, what it feels like. And I am sure things will go a lot better if you do your practice swing during the match instead of the one that you start thinking step by step what to correct. My name is Mario and this was your Tennis Minute.